Sharks are older than dinosaurs and trees. They've been around for about 450 million years, which is about 90 million years longer than trees and 200 million years longer than the T-Rex. There are an estimated 450 species of shark that live in all of the world's five oceans. These are all undisputed facts. However, there are some myths about sharks. For example, some assume that sharks are the apex predator of the ocean. Orcas, or killer whales, actually hunt sharks and have no natural predators in the ocean. So that's one myth taken care of. Another one is a little gray. That is, is it true that sharks can't stop moving? We're going to go with a yes and a no on this one because it's kind of a complicated question. And it depends on the species of shark. Many sharks simply have to keep moving to stay alive. Like other fish, sharks need oxygen from water to survive. Unfortunately, shark mouths are set back from the front of their snout, making it difficult to inhale water via the mouth. Instead, many shark species have to move so that the water can wash over their gills, and oxygen can enter their bloodstream. For example, great white and mako sharks swim with their mouths open, allowing water to enter their gills and to keep the oxygen flowing throughout their whole body. This is called ram ventilation and explains why many sharks are constantly on the go. See, the faster they swim, the more oxygen that they can breathe in. On the other hand, there are other sharks that don't have to necessarily move in order to maintain their oxygen supply. There are even some sharks that can continue to breathe while lying on the seafloor or under sand, as they can still control water coming over their gills. For example, tiger sharks and nurse sharks can stop whenever they want. They rely on a method known as buccal pumping, where they use their cheek muscles to draw water into their mouth. They then close their mouths, forming a pump-type action that sends oxygen-rich water into their gills. Bucal pumping means that sharks can stop moving and get some rest while still breathing. Without water over their gills and oxygen supply, sharks can suffocate in a matter of minutes. But when it comes to absorbing oxygen, sharks do it much better than humans. If there's just 1% of oxygen around a shark, it'll typically absorb 80% of it still. Conversely, humans can only absorb 25% of the 21% of the oxygen that surrounds us. Fish have swim bladders that allow them to displace or retain water as necessary. This controls their buoyancy, keeping them away from danger zones in the water surface and the ocean floor. Contrarily, sharks don't really have swim bladders and they're also negatively buoyant. This means that they're heavier than the weight of the water that they displace, which means that they'll naturally sink, which is dangerous due to fluctuating pressure volumes. But sharks wouldn't have survived for 400 odd million years without some highly useful body mechanics. For starters, sharks have large livers which contain high amounts of oil. This liver oil is lighter than water, aiding to them in gaining buoyancy. They also make full use of their fins to enable them to move freely through different water levels. As a result, if they keep swimming, they can avoid sinking down to the ocean floor or up to the surface. Not having a swim bladder suits sharks just fine. This means that their bodies are incompressible, which lets them move between depths without dangers of, like, exploding or imploding. So, moving or inhaling water over the gills is paramount. This brings us to the question of sleep. Namely, do sharks actually sleep? And if they do, then how? Sharks don't sleep like we know sleeping. That is, they don't close their eyes and drift off into emotionless slumber. They gotta keep water flowing over their gills to survive, so sharks simply can't do this. Instead, most sharks tend to go through active and resting periods. Scientists have coined the term sleep swimming to describe how many sharks drift through the water with their brains being less active. It's been shown that rather than the brain, the shark's spinal cord actually controls the swimming action. This allows many sharks to rest their brain and possibly slip into a state of suspended consciousness. And sharks such as nurse and reef sharks don't have to keep moving because they can use buccal pumping and inhale water into their gills. They can sometimes be seen in a rest-like state in caves and on the sea floor, but with their eyes open and their heads tracing movement. Like a lot of other marine life, it's difficult to ascertain whether sharks are in a restful state while they're moving. Can they switch off while still moving? For humans, that's hard to even comprehend. A university in Western Australia conducted a study to determine how sharks rest. By measuring metabolic rates, researchers were able to conclude that 
Sharks do indeed enter a restful or sleep-like state. And when this resting period goes over five minutes, it's generally classified as sleep. Depending on the species, sharks might continue to drift while sleeping or come to a halt. Sharks such as great whites can't use buccal pumping, continue to move so as to get oxygen into their systems, but keep in mind, great whites live about as long as people. They have life expectancies of around 70 years. 70 years of continuous movement is seriously impressive. It's a very active lifestyle. Other studies, nevertheless, have shown that most sharks tend to adopt a flat and rigid body posture when they're in their sleeping state. Even if they're drifting, their body assumes a motionless state, which is a strong indicator that the shark has nodded off. Scientists in New Zealand also concluded that sharks do indeed sleep, moving or otherwise. They kept sharks in large cages for a 24-hour period and watched how much oxygen was being used. Higher use of oxygen indicated an active and awakened state, and when the oxygen usage levels decreased, it was clear that the sharks had entered a state of slumber. These periods of sleep differ from shark to shark. Some might rest or sleep for a few minutes and then be on their merry way. Others snooze for longer. One thing is for sure though, sharks most definitely get their downtime. Interestingly, scattered sleep patterns and sleeping with eyes open and moving while resting are all typical traits of most marine life. Manta rays are distant cousins of sharks and have very similar sleeping and moving habits. Manta rays have similar bodies to sharks, long and flat with their eyes on the sides and their mouths down below their front of their heads. Manta rays have also have to keep moving for their entire lives in order to get that precious oxygen flowing in over their gills. Tuna is another species of fish that has a lifetime of perpetual motion. They move, and they move well. Yellowfin have been clocked doing speeds of 70 kilometers per hour. Even with all this information, though, there's still a lot that we don't know about the sleep and movement patterns of sharks and even other fish. But we can clear up one question. Is it true that sharks don't stop moving? Well, if you're a great white, whale shark, hammerhead, mako, or reef shark, definitely. Definitely.